We've been falling for quite a while now. I'm not sure we're able to land safely. I could turn into a bird if you like. Wait, you can do that? Just trust me. I know what I'm doing. That was quite possibly the most exciting and scary experience in my life. I could barely hold a shapeshift control for 10 minutes, let alone get us to the surface of another dimension. Yeah, it is very cool. It's a Galaxarian thing. The dimension we've been transported to seems decently sized, a striking similarity to our local planet Earth. However, there are no discernible exits. That is rather strange. Maybe those two natives could help us. Hell, stop. We can't talk to them. I think they might be our alternate reality counterpart. Emily, I'm sure I'll be fine. They're right this way. We're really, really sorry to interrupt. We noticed you two and we think we know who you are. Wait, you know us? How is the world not exploded if you're talking to us? Are you not really our alternate universe counterpart? Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. I'm Perry and this is Kami. We think you're the magical beings Camilla and Arkeni. They come from the stars and protect our world from all evil. We think you are Camilla, daughter of time and the wild. She can transform from into anything in existence, and she has a magical number on her back. And Arcanis is the daughter of rainbows and music. Her heart can calm any storm, and she can create rainbows. That's you. <laughs> well, you were right about us being magical, but we're not really supposed to be here. I'm a gem named Rainbow Pearl, and this is Camelie. She used to travel through time and stuff. She's really amazing. Hello. We were fighting this gem, Ultramarine, who seemed to have it out for us just for existing. She threw us into a rift between dimensions, and I thought we were going to end up in Tartar or something. But we ended up here, and now we need to find a way out. Well, we don't know much about your story, but we know about ours. Maybe if you find a link between them, you'll find a way home. You can stay in my family's library while you research. Well, we don't really have another choice, so that seems like a good deal. Hey, Camille, I noticed you seemed a bit flustered earlier. I wanted to check if you were okay. You know, you don't have to hide anything from me. I've made it my entire life to traverse around the multiverse, but this dimension is not supposed to exist. It breaks everything in the book. <gasps> uh, Camille, there's something flashing on your back. Is everything alright? I'm a Galaxarian, an eternal, if you will. We're not supposed to be immortal. We're supposed to exist in a similar way to the Earth cat, but instead of having nine lives, we have 50. Harry and Cammy were correct when they said I have a number on my back. All Galaxarians have them. They're a ticking time bomb, always there, always reminding me of my impermanence, that I could just be another mistake of the Eternals of old, and my immortality could just be a lie. I am at my 49th region. I may be gone forever soon. Emily, I may not be a Galaxarian, but I don't think they got you wrong at all. You are special and beautiful in every way, and I believe you are a true eternal. I may not have much time left with you, but I know we can make the most of it. And if we accept the help of this dimension's denizens, we'll be home before we know it.